Sigmund Freud would have his patients lie down on a couch and talk about their lives with free association. And then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Freud would. Oh, are you still going? Freud would have his patients lie on the couch. <laughs> Why? What? Freud. Speak. I'll move the head. Okay. And that also, and then what happened? Okay. <laughs> Sigmund Freud would sit his patients down on a couch to have them. No, they were lying down. That's the whole point. <laughs> okay. Why don't you say it then, since you're so good? <laughs> Are you saying it or me? <laughs> you are! <laughs> okay. Freud would have his patients lie on a couch and talk about their lives. And what happened next? I fell off my bike and hit a tree. And how did that make you feel? It made me feel like my face smashed against some bark. It was very awful. <laughs> Help me! <sighs> Freud believed that there were three parts to the human personality. The first was the id. The id is the instinctive or childish part that wants what it wants when it wants it. The ego is the part of the personality which is what? No, the super, uh, the, the ego is the, the logical super. one that, that mediates between the id and the super ego. Okay. I'm, I'm doing the ego. Okay. The ego is the part of the personality that is... We can do a super ego it's first. logical. I know. We could do super ego first. All right, let's do super ego first. I need to do this. And that was Freud. Now on to Adler. Adler disagreed with Freud. He believed. What did he believe? Well, I don't know. Tell me. Tell me what he believed. <laughs> um. That Alfred Adler had a lot of good ideas. Another one, <laughs> Alfred Adler had the idea of life goals. La, la, la. This was the idea that every person had a life goal, conscious or not, that they wanted to achieve to gain superiority. Fuzz. Wanted to go to the moon. <laughs> That's a very big goal <laughs> in life. And Pavlov's dog wants to get over his inferiority complex. <laughs> I was, okay, I need to do that again. Because and lastly, Adler believed in birth order changing the way the personalities of each character is. Let's say Hofer is the oldest. I am the oldest. I have a lot of pressure from my parents because it's their first try on a child and I have all of the authority over my siblings. And here's the middle child, Fuzz. I am the middle child. I have learned to challenge my... Wait, I did that wrong. I'm sorry. I did that wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Should I just keep going? Wait. Don't, don't now we're done with this man, <laughs> and on to this man. <laughs> you need to say who they are. Carl Jung. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, it's going. Go. What do I say? One last thing about, okay. One last thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jung, Jung. 
name is Jung, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> a last idea from Jung. A last idea from Jung before he faded into the confines of time! <laughs> it's introvert and... Jung had one last idea to pass on to the generations long after he was dead. <laughs> no. Don't say dead. Jung had some final words before he drifted into nothingness. I need to do that with a straight face. <coughs> Jung had one final idea before he drifted away into nothingness. Introversion and extroversion. So, introversion is the idea that a person doesn't really like large crowds and a bunch of noise. They gather their energy from nice silence or being around one or two friends. Extroverts enjoy being out in the world and they don't really like all the silence and <laughs> existentialism and, and dark they enjoy being in the sunshine and being happy. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Introverts and extroverts both like happiness and sunshine, but they have different views on what happiness and sunshine is. This is the last words <laughs> of you.